Oh yes, it's time for Marvel Contest of Champions news. Lots of stories to cover on the 17th of January 2019. It's a Friday, thank God. Here are your headlines. Yes, they're lines and they're at the head. Headlines. Let's jump into the news. Let's begin with our first story and this kind of summoner returning gift thing. And why this is causing issues because there's no clear information. And what I think I'm finding at the moment is it's very specific and very random. So, to start off with, you're probably going, okay, well, how do I get my hands on this? It's very difficult. Kabam have put rolling these out to people that either been inactive for a long amount of time, but some people are reporting that they've been inactive in game for about 10 months plus and not getting it. It's, it's very difficult to pinpoint the key, key information, which me, makes me think like, okay, this is a randomized gift for those that have been inactive. Some people are saying that they've been inactive for three months or three weeks, have come back, grinded for a week, and then they have got this one here. So it's, it's hard to gauge this. As well, is this on a standing based on rating, things and content they've been able to achieve? So if you've been able to smash through uncollected on a monthly basis, then do you get something like this? If I went cold turkey for a month, would I get this? 12 months, would I get this? Because I can do uncollected? Or would I get the four star version of the compensation? Which looks a little bit like this. Either way, there's a lot of people with different thought processes on this, whether or not you're angry about this, you're like, okay, that's fine. I can imagine the downtime that I wouldn't be grinding out this content. I would be getting twice as much, three times as much, because well, I could do heroic master and uncollected monthly. So if I miss out three months, then I miss out on more value based on what I'm getting back for free. Either way, I don't think people overly care too much about it. Those that are crying conspiracy theory or going, okay, well, I need to be inactive in a game, you're probably gonna do yourself more harm by being inactive. Uh, but it's up to you, it's your game, your grind, you do it. Next up is my own news. Why am I having my own news in here? Because my channel, god damn it, I can do what I like. But the fact is, I was doing research for a video for Sabretooth and I was looking through some comic book history as I do with a lot of my new reviews that I've been putting out about champions. In that, I noticed that there's a few discrepancies about the fact that in game, it says in the bio for Sabretooth that he's Logan's half brother. And I was thinking to myself, this is more film plot. This is more X-Men Origins Wolverine. But when I was looking back at source material, it kind of like doesn't really reference him being a half brother. And yes, people have pointed out the fact that uh, Chris Clement, when he was doing the original of the um, uh, Wolverine type stories, he was going, okay, well, what if Sabretooth was the dad of Wolverine? But then kind of went off that idea. But I think he's been played about with the genetics. In any case, I'll get to the point. The point is, I put something on Twitter and said, well, I don't think this is correct because this leeches too much of the um, of the film plot. So why isn't it more represented of comic book? Because at the end of the day, Kabam didn't have any association with X-Men Origins Wolverine when it was released. And that was released years ago. And we're at to a point now when the champion was released why should it have logan's half brother in but i didn't really get the correct response i didn't actually get a decent response from gabe which is funny enough either way i know a lot of you responded to this but one person got it well several people got it william gary josh but in particular what josh says which is like it's just epitomized i, I don't personally like seeing that film aspect being put in and yeah i, I do absolutely agree with that i, I just don't know why Kebab have decided to write half brother when it's clearly not uh, his half brother. Well, he doesn't really have a half brother, but his biological brother. You'll learn about in the Sabretooth videos coming out soon. And now back to more proper news. In we've got Act 4's energy spend going down, which is positive. It's great for new players coming in because at the end of the day, units are really valuable for them. If they're constantly spending on energy refills, then they're not going to get to anywhere, anywhere soon. They're not going to get masteries improved, etc., etc. blah, blah, blah. The fact is, it's a good thing. Happy that they've done this. Move on. Next up, when we see the return of dungeons, although I don't personally grind out dungeons, I may actually get off my ass and get moving and actually do it for once now that I've got a little bit more time on my hands. There are several improvements being made and a few things that have been taken away from dungeons. Also, you're gonna see the friend relationship thing, friend progression thing being sorted because it was an exploit for a time, uh, now isn't, so that is gonna be repaired. And also the artifact crystals are gonna be shaken up a little bit. There's also a fix coming in for the thing when it comes to fate seals and the way that fate seals interact with the thing because 
he wasn't immune and now he's going to be immune. It's kind of sad if you were kind of using those champions to, well, as Caban would say, exploit that, but I think that's just good strategy at the end of the day. Next up, and oh God, save me Deadpool from this atrocity that I see. Even though Reverberation looks like it's kicking a major butt, this is indeed an issue. It's attributed to assets not loading properly. Though, I like the way it starts off with most games. You don't know about most games. This game is really darn weird and annoying and frustrating sometimes. Next up, and shout out to Slayer of Gods and Logan Gunn for sending through some images, as well as Slayer of Gods as well, for sending through a lot of the stories that we do feature on Marvel Contest of Champions. This story in particular has got a lot of people talking and that's because it displays a test account for Kabam. Although I must just point out, where's the six star Cyclops? Hey, where, where's the six star Cyclops? Oh, it's not like you've chosen, oh, oh, oh look at, oh it's a Corvus. Not very powerful champions, not one of those champions you go, oh yes, no, no, other champions do suffice. Other six stars, because do you know what? There's other six stars that, that can be used, not, not ones like Corvus, uh, not a popular one like Emma Frost for defense, not a sort of popular one in Goldpool. I mean, Phoenix, I, I, I don't know where your rationale is with Phoenix on, on the subject, but this is probably to test out some stuff with Alliance Wars because there's something of a rating that's been going around. I saw like a, a rating, which we do actually have in this still. As you can see over there, it does say that they're gold one, which I think that's incorrect, although, one thing that I, quite, I found quite odd is a lot of people came to me and said, there's been a ban wave. Now, when we went into Gold 1, our alliance, like when we got the leaderboard, we were in probably a position like 250, and we jumped 100 places. Now, is that because there are a multitude of Kabam test accounts being out there, and they're warring with one, they're specifically warring against one another? And it's kind of weird because there has been a fresh announcement of Alliance Wars improvement with matchmaking. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that, that all of this kind of comes about at the same time. This account does not exist anymore. And there's a lot of questions that players do have asked about this, but it's kind of weird about the champions being used, the Alliance placement in Alliance Wars, the fact that people made a jump up and yes, there has been a band wave. So that could be another thing that's, that could be something else that's affected it. But I don't know, I'll leave you with your thoughts on, on that with this, this test account. It's very cool to see these champions at the highest rank they are, but man, um, yeah. Ooh, rank five, uh, Emma Frost in Alliance Wars Defense. Yeah, sour taste in the mouth. Just to quickly follow up on that point that I said about the war matchmaking, Command Mike has said that it's gonna be improvements. That information will be given by the end of the month. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to Marvel Contest of Champions News. We'll be covering the story when it comes out. And on now to some funny posts. Let's end off the week with a few funnies. But obviously, Kabam did an oopsie with the arena. So, yeah. Uh, you may have seen this. Thing arena isn't coming right. We didn't get another chance of doing the thing at five star. It's a case, it's just a visual based bug. And now on to two funny stories, starting off with this one here by Contest of Noobs. As you can see, he's got a mega red and Amiam or Contest of Noobs because we featured him on Wednesday's edition. And this story here, it's uh, it's pretty funny. The way he's kind of talking to his uh, to his nephew about account sharing and the fact that he can't technically use his account. It's funny. Um, go give it a read. It's really good. Our next funny story is from Hamin. So Hamin's been putting these interactions, funny interactions with his champions into the forum, and it's been gaining a real strong cult following within the community. I strongly suggest like going to the link in the description, giving this all a read, because it's just funny. Like the, even the story here where he's talking about, oh, uh, Juggernaut wants to come on with on board with an act of five grind. And it's like, no, Juggernaut, you, you sit over there with, with your people. We'll sit here with our people because we're going to do the quest. It's, there's loads of different stories like this. It's really funny. Go check it out. Link is in the description below. That has been your Marvel Contest of Champions news for the 18th, 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 18th of January 2019. Why am I making so much of an emphasis on that? Well, at the start of the video, I said it was the 17th. Big boo-boo. I did an oopsie. Over the weekend, we're going to be putting out the Labyrinth of Legends guides, also accompanying to that a health potion grinding guides, as well as revives in Max that video, and evading maestro specials. So all of those come in a, a triple threat, a, a nice kind of little package there. And also after this video, or before this video, I'm doing Marvel Contest of Champions memes review. Um, it's just a small video. It's all right. <laughs> 
I'll let you be the judge of it. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. But in any case, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions based content and the news. Also hit post notifications on so when my videos get a ping up, you get to see them. You get to see them and enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Rich Manish. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.